What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to hop on here real quick to share with you a little haul that I have for the new Paragon drop that you can expect August 29th. They're dropping their new Summit collection. That's gonna be 2 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. EST for early access. Now I was debating on doing a full-fledged video because it's a relatively simple haul. Very straightforward pieces and I've reviewed Paragon many times in the past so I was debating on it. I wasn't originally going to but then when I received the pieces and I was feeling them I saw the color palette. I was like, okay, you know what? I really think you guys are gonna love this. So here we are. Another reason I wanted to chat about this collection is I really like the theme, right? Summit Collection is basically about national parks. Very southwest, very dry, earthy, nature-esque. If you know me at all, you would know I'm a national park whore. You have no idea how much I love national parks. In fact, in the year 2017, Bay and I, we both graduated from college. I graduated with my associate's degree. He had graduated with his bachelor degree and we we're working at the same restaurant together. We decided to take a two week road trip out west, just him and I in the open road and do an entire national park tour. So we saw places like Zion, the Grand Canyon, Canyon Lands, all the national parks in Utah. So the American Southwest National Parks are hands down my favorite that I've been to in this entire country. I wanna see more of the Northwest next, but I've been up and down the East Coast. I've seen a lot of national parks, but my God, nothing compares to the Southwest. But before we hop into it, you already know, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see videos just like this every single week. And if you see something you like and shop the launch, do not forget to use my code GATA for 10% off your entire order. Also helps to support this channel and keep videos like this coming your way. You know Paragon, they are the starters of that sculpt seam. That's their trademark. They're very well known for that very hidden internal scrunch. As of lately, they dropped a brand new sculpt seam plus that's a little more intense. You can see the scrunch from the outside, but it does still look very natural. It's very comfortable. So I'm glad to see them sticking with that. It must be doing well. We have three fabrics dropping in this launch. The Flex Sweat, this is only coming in prints, mind you. We also have the Rec Stretch material. That's what you're gonna see a lot of with these leggings. I love it. That's my favorite material from them. And last but not least, their feather knit. Ooh, very luxurious. The flex sweat materials only coming in the camo designs. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw these camo prints, I wasn't really sold. I wasn't into it that much. I'm kind of over the whole camo design. Seen it one too many times, so I wasn't really interested in that. You guys are unfamiliar, the flex sweat is basically their performance line. Not my favorite, feels slightly plasticky to me, not my favorite to actually work out in. I have already done reviews based off of their flex sweat, so if you need to see any other reviews from Paragon, check out my Paragon playlist where I talk about the different types of materials a little more in depth. They have a bra, a crop top, and a legging dropping in those three prints. So that covers what's launching in the Flex Sweat. I wanna let you guys know in case you're a huge fan of the design or the material, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Rec Stretch and Feather Knit that we have here today. First, let's take a look at the Feather Knit shorts. These are loose fit shorts in the color Canyonlands and Everglades. I've been to the Canyonlands, beautiful. Never been to the Everglades in Florida though. When you take a look at these colors, they are stunning, especially put together. So the Canyonlands is more of a burnt orange, which is super pretty. Oh, now we're getting more into the fall orange. The Everglades, nice, beautiful olive green. It is so pretty when actually on. I liked it when it came in, but when I actually wore it, I loved it even more. This color's beautiful. Now, everything is in my true size small as usual. My biggest takeaway when it comes to these shorts is that you need to size up. For me, I wish I sized up so badly. I have to say when I first put these shorts on, they felt a little snug in the groin area. I noticed that the lining underneath, so there's built-in shorts, and then you have a really nice overlay. The shorts are a little tight underneath and very short. The shorts do have one built-in pocket. They do roll when you squat, so keep that in mind. Because the liner does roll when you squat around, and the fact that these are so snug on me, they look like panty lines underneath. But oh, if I sized up, then I feel like these would be the perfectly slight oversized fit that I prefer. The waistband feels just a little bit too compressive. For me to wear this all day being comfortable, I need a little less compression around my waist. You also do have an adjustable drawstring. String, oh my God. You have an internal drawstring. It's not two strings that can get lost. It's just the one string as so. 
I think the side of the shorts are really beautiful, that whole waterfall cascade design. This feather knit material is so silky smooth. It feels like one of those silky blouses I have somewhere in my closet. What's a really nice touch is the bonded seams. They lay so flat, they're beautifully bonded, which is basically they like glue it flat. I think they overall did a really nice job with these shorts. I just wish I sized up, it's such a shame. I'm somebody who really likes to hike and spend a lot of time outdoors and in nature. I feel like when it comes to early fall especially, a lot of times it's still like 80 degrees here. So I really need some lightweight pieces that will work for me to be able to hike, but still be fall-esque, you know what I'm saying? We have two tops here. This one is the square, I don't know how you even say this, brami, what? The square neck brami. This is in that matching feather knit material that I just shared with you in the shorts. We also have the contour crop made out of the rec stretch material that I love. Starting with the brami, I'm also wearing it in the Everglades color as we speak. This is a very square neck, very wide open, super thick straps. I noticed that because it's such a wide neckline and these straps are so thick, sometimes they could appear to be tapered off to the sides here. They never fall off, they don't even come close to falling off, but I do think right off the bat, if you're in between, you could size down in this. You do have a full built-in shelf bra, very moderate support, removable bra pads. This is totally great for all day wear. This is such a comfortable bra. You have the back that pretty much matches that square neckline. Paragon has been mixing it up with their logos. You'll see some are tonal, some are not. You can see that reflective silver logo on here. I also think this bra is pretty flattering. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like it does just enough for the gals without being too over the top. This would be very comfortable to hike in with some loose fit shorts. Pairing these together, absolutely. Again, it's that feather knit, so it's super silky feeling. Now the contour crop top made out of the rec stretch material. It's similar, just like the Brahmi, in terms of it having a shelf bra with the elastic band for extra support. So those two have that in common. This one comes obviously a lot higher on the neckline, and there's a lot of curvature going on in this top. Not just by the armpits, I actually really love when tops that kind of look like a tank top go inward. This way there's less cinching and less bulge. I just think it's more of a flattering design. But they also added in a curved hem at the bottom. So this crop comes a little bit low towards the tummy, a little higher around the sides, and then again low in the back. So there's a lot of curvature. This is a laser cut at the end. This is not the bonded seam you've been seeing, this is laser cut. Now this Brahmi doesn't have either. It doesn't have a bonded edge, and it doesn't have a laser cut either. It has some stitching right underneath. You have full back coverage, again, moderate support. I just love the rec stretch material because of its, obviously, its stretch. It stands for recreational stretch, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> I took a stab in the dark with that. I'm assuming that's what they mean. I love working out in the rec stretch, okay? Fun fact, if you're wondering, well, do you take it to the gym? Absolutely. I prefer that over the flex sweat, which is actually meant for performance. It's ironic, but that's just what I prefer. You still have your removable bra pads in here. If you're in between, you can size down. You guys are probably like, oh my God, girl. Did you really only pick those two colors? Short answer, yes. Most of what I picked were in these two colors because that's how much I love them. But I also did grab a black set as well. So these sets are coming in black. They're also coming in the color Death Valley, which is a very light gray. Me personally, I'm over the light gray tones. I feel like it washes me out a bit. So that's why I stuck with the more rich colors. But Death Valley, the actual national park, I honestly think that was my favorite out of every single one. It's a literal desert. We were the only ones out there, all right? For miles, I didn't see anybody. If our car took a sh we'd be done. You wouldn't see me here today. I would have been dead. We found a legitimate ghost town that we explored. It was insane. I'm telling you, Death Valley, no joke. A stacked waist seam detail, all right? So you have two seams going across. Really nice seam contour, really elevates the glue area. See, this is what I mean. You've seen in my previous videos where you can see this scrunch, but it works wonders. It does really well. It's very comfortable. It is stretchy. You don't feel it. I think it looks amazing at the gym. The glutes just really pucker up in this one. I always felt that this legging had a lot of stretch. So when they said they improved the waistband and made it more stretchy, okay. 
<laughs> I didn't think it needed it, but more stretch the better, I always say. We have a nice healthy 25 inch inseam. Now, even with my black underwear, you can see it a little bit, you can, because it's black underwear, but really good when it comes to sheerness. Now they hit you with the very tonal logo on the back of the band. Now, if you're unfamiliar or haven't seen any of my other Paragon reviews, this material is very lightweight, very stretchy, super breathable. It really does have a beautiful body fit. I love that there's no wrinkling or bunching in unnecessary areas. I think they just nailed it with this entire legging. Very nice moderate compression throughout. I really enjoyed working out in this material. Comment down below, do you like working out in their rec stretch material or are you more of the flex sweat type of gal? There's no right or wrong answer here. Super true to size. I think if you're in between, you could get away with sizing up. The reason I say that is because you do have some seam placements all around. Wouldn't want you popping those seams, girl. I did actually pop some seams when putting them past my hips. Just throwing that out there. I heard a few pop, they still fit perfectly. It wasn't a struggle getting them up. Last but not least, we have the same thing you just saw, but in shorts, okay? So they are launching the Sculpt Seam Plus in shorts. Same exact design, just a bit short. So you know me, I prefer like six inch shorts, five to six. These are a little too short for me. I do notice them cinching around my thighs. So this really isn't my go-to. I would prefer the leggings over the shorts. Now they don't really roll up. From what I experienced doing the squat test, they don't roll up. They do have a very tight seam here. It only goes so far. You know how some shorts you could just stretch as far as you possibly can? These, there's a limit, okay? And this is the limit right here. Just, just, just like that, right? You're not getting past that. <laughs> and with that constriction comes a little bit of thigh cinch. If you watch, you know, thigh cinch is not my jam. I avoid it like the plague. I think you'll be okay. If you're anything like me and you wanna avoid a little thigh snug, maybe sizing on up if in between will help you. I think I might try that next time just to see how it plays out. All right guys, so that concludes today's Paragon Summit collection review. Comment down below your thoughts. What are you thinking about this collection? Again, I know what I have here wasn't too crazy, but I still wanted to make this video just to help you out a little bit in case you were interested in this launch. So if I did help you out in any way, comment down below, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. We have a ton more Paragon videos coming your way. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.